Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky, and it is a huge astrological month, not only for how it fits into this month or this year, but also this decade as well. And part of the monumental move that is set to take place is Saturn changing signs right around the 22nd of this month. Now this is just gonna give us a little bit of a taste, well, actually an accelerated taste, if you will, where by the time we get to the very end of the month and Saturn meets Mars in this brand new part of the sky, there will be an accelerated awareness on your part as to what the larger lessons are meant to be for you, not just in the years ahead, but certainly over the course of the coming decade. And that is because Saturn will step into this brand new part of the sky until July 1st, retrograde back to where he's been for over two years. And then at the end of the year, we'll move back into Aquarius with Jupiter, meeting Jupiter where Mars will meet Saturn now and moving on further into this brand new decade. So it is a huge time frame right now where if you are paying attention and maybe even if you're not, it may just show up for you, you will get some very clear indications as to what some larger lessons are for you and how it is that you can navigate it best and to your advantage. So I see this energy playing out a couple of different ways. This is a daily part of the sky for you. So this has to do with understanding how you are living your life to make sure you are living it with integrity, honoring yourself, paying attention to yourself, how you feel in every arena in your smallest moments. Now, some of the more powerful arenas this energy tends to play out is work, like our workplace and the type of work we're doing day in and day out and the people we interact with, and of course, our health-related habits as well. So let me just start with health. Because ultimately what Saturn says is do the tried and true. Make sure you're taking the best of care of yourself, that you're using your days well. So for some of you, this might be a newfound energy to change your habits and to do things that allow you to feel stronger and better. For others though, this may be a time when there are interesting ways in which the universe may try to help you to become aware of where it is that you could be taking the best care of you. And if that is the case, and I'm so sorry to say, but sometimes it just does happen as part of our human experience, as part of the wisdom, sometimes some health issues do come up. If this were a different energy, okay, let's say this were Chiron. If it's Chiron, I would say go to an acupuncturist. If it's Neptune, I would say, you know, maybe you wanna look at what's happening on spiritual levels, on energetic levels, but this is Saturn. And Saturn says, go to a doctor, go to a specialist, you will find your answer. And the great thing is, is that slight changes, little things that you do can help you to feel more stable and strong. And it is this time that can set you up really nicely for a renewed sense of longevity and a new way of practicing self-care that redefines you in the best possible sense that brings structure and stability to so many different areas of your life going forward from here. So if it feels like there's anything that could be feeling better, if it feels like, you know, maybe I should be taking better care of myself, I would say seek a specialist, seek a doctor. If this was a different energy, I would say, you know, look at your allergies and things like that. That's not what Saturn says. Saturn says go to the established, the tried and true, the expert, and you will find the answer for you. But this part of the sky, and it may not even speak to health, because this can also be your work, the type of work you're doing, how you feel about it, what needs to change in that regard. And so this can be a time when you become more deeply committed to doing work that is relevant to you, that matters to you, doing work in a way that feels like it's allowing you to build something in the bigger picture of your life. So these are some lessons that may come up. Keep in mind there will be a Saturn special horoscope coming up soon in the first half of this month, so be on the lookout for that. But I did wanna give you a little bit of a heads up here 
because this is where the universe can start pointing the way to your self-respect, to your greater longevity, to your greater stability. But it is important to pay attention and know that whatever happens now, you will see it differently, more expansively in a more healing light once we get you to the end of the year. And right now, it's just a taste, it's just a taste of Saturn bringing his lessons to a brand new area of life. Now, what we also have happening that's really important for you, a very big deal, is a full moon in your sign. This full moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and with Jupiter. I love that energy for you. I feel like this is going to be a time that is hopeful and expansive and powerful. Nothing less than you feeling truly powerful. At the same time though, Neptune is standing across the sky from this full moon. It does tell me that your energy may wane, your moods may wane as well. So it is important to practice self-care, to take the best of care of you, make sure you're getting enough rest in particular. Also with this energy, it does say that you are getting in touch with the things that really matter to you, the things near and dear to your heart. So whatever matters to you most, whatever matters to you first, in some way you are making a move and moving yourself in that direction. You are transforming from the inside out and moving yourself forward. I think that you will be redefining yourself in a way that appreciates your strength and that truly allows you to be genuinely optimistic. And at a time like this, when you really do have the Midas touch, there's every reason to be absolutely optimistic now. As we navigate late into the month, it is going to be right around the 24th that we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your access to resources, uh, your relationship to financial institutions, and on a more personal level, your personal transformation and change and where it is that you are coming to understand that you're ready to be different, whether it is in terms of a psychoanalytic process that you begin now, a physiotherapy process you begin now, or maybe it's some other journey towards creating meaningful change in your life. Well, it is now that it starts to feel like it takes root. This new moon will be speaking in harmony with Saturn. I love that. It tells me that you are already starting to pull in this shift of energy of Saturn into a new area of life. And so your transformation is going to be found in the day to day in the smallest habits that you do. But it really is for the long term. It is for the big picture. So this isn't about a get rich quick scheme. OK, this is more about what are you going to do in terms of what you practice, what you know that you're good at and how you're going to translate that into wealth. How is it that you can create meaningful transformation in terms of your psychological health or your physical health by focusing on the smaller moments, not wanting a quick fix or going cold turkey, but rather slowly building towards a stronger future in those very smallest moments? Well, this new moon will help you to find your answers. Where it comes to matters of love, Mercury remains retrograde in your opposite sign. That does bring special focus to partnerships. Now we are going to have right in the middle of the month, Mercury dipping out of your opposite sign, stationary and then direct and then moving back into your opposite sign and right to the end of the month. So what this tells me is that on the one hand, there still may be that sense of mixed messages and possibilities that are there in the first part of the month, but then there will be a shift in focus for you in some way. And you will come to, as we move towards the later days of the month, see what has transpired for you, especially late last month and early this month differently than you did before. So if it felt like you had certain feelings for somebody, maybe your feelings might look different or might change. If it felt as if you were getting certain messages from someone, you may understand their behavior differently as well by the time we navigate late into the month. Now it is going to be right around the fifth of the month that Venus will move into fellow Earth sign Taurus. There's lots of beautiful supportive energy there. So you can enjoy that. Love can be especially expansive and hopeful and optimistic with that energy. And yet, especially as we start this month, Mercury is retrograde in your opposite sign. So 
it is important to keep some perspective knowing that your own feelings or what certain things mean well all of that could change by the time we navigate late into the month so if you're open to meeting someone new you may very well connect with somebody at this time i'm especially hopeful in the days following venus changing signs and meeting uranus in the sky it could be a very surprise connection with someone very different than you've known before if it is that you've just started to date someone keep in mind your own perceptions may go through an important change over the course of this month so if you're starting the month not really sure well by the time we navigate late into the month it looks like you're pretty clear whether or not you want to go forward with this person if you're head over heels as you start this month well as we navigate late into the month you may be getting a more balanced perspective and if it is that you are in an established bond this can be a particularly important time yes there is that likelihood of some mixed messages but i actually think venus is going to help you that much more to truly dream together and make plans for some adventure going forward from here what i love about this month for you while it is the full moon in your sign that's a pretty big deal that happens about once a year and it brings your truth to the surface the kind of truth that can only be clear under the light of the full moon it is the truth of what you feel your emotional truth that comes forward now it is a truth about yourself and what is nearest and dearest to your heart it may be an emotional time but more than that it is transformative and powerful and it is you that is the source of the greatest power now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week and with a month like this, well, it's probably a good idea to be getting an in-depth week-to-week look because it is a very active astrological week. Well, if you go over to NadiaShaw.com, sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Saturn special horoscopes, like the Venus retrograde special horoscopes that are coming this month as well. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.